Welcome everybody. I know you guys are all stressing about doing your taxes. So this video is going to be a deep dive into the crypto tax software that I use. If you want some background, go watch this video that I made a few days ago called Crypto Taxes Done in 10 Minutes. So I have already been through the ringer on this. I bought and paid for three different crypto tax softwares. This is the one that I picked, Cointracking.com. So in the next 10 minutes, just give me 10 minutes, I'm going to tell you why I picked this, and I'm going to do a knowledge dump on how to use it. Uh, there is a link in my description for 10% off. So this software was actually invented in 2012 and 2013. The reason that's so important is there are so many garbage me too crypto tax software programs that really suck. I mean, I just bought and paid for them and they are going to make your life hell if you don't use a good one like this. So if you don't pick this one, at least pick one that's been around for a long time. This one has over a million users, $41 billion worth of portfolios. I wanted to show you their team. They are based in Germany, so they're not in some like obscure country that nobody knows about. I actually had an email conversation with Dr. Christine Williams. She was great. She supported me in some issues that I was having. They have a huge team of real people that invented the software and can help you out if you need help. The other thing to point out is that these guys are really thorough. They have tax laws integrated into their software from all of these different countries. Do you think a brand new crypto tax program would have that? I don't think so. This is a really good one. They also have integration with uh, CPAs. So if you want to get help, you can request full service here and your CPA or a CPA that they choose for you can actually log into your account and help you. So I'm in a much better position to show you guys how this software works because the last time that I did it in the other YouTube video that I showed you, I was logged into my own personal account and I was like really stressed because all my personal information was showing. But in this account, it's like a demo account so I can show you guys everything. They have really good documentation here. You can see how to get started and they have all these instructions and integrations, but don't get intimidated. I know you guys are freaking out right now. It's not as bad as you might think. Okay, so let's get started on the tutorial. This is gonna be your home base. When you go to enter coins and you go to this overview and manual import, this is gonna show like all of your raw transactions, a raw transaction list. Again, this is just a demo sample of transactions here. There's only like 10. Yours is gonna be you know, hundreds or thousands, but that's your home base, this overview and manual import. That's where you're gonna scroll through your own transactions and see if they look right. You can also edit them if you need to by clicking on that and then clicking on edit. You can change this from a deposit to income uh, or just, you know, change the categorization. You can edit the asset value here if you need to. We'll get into that in a minute. It, the search function is also extremely s thorough. It's like Google. That's one of the things I love about this software is when you search in the search box here, it searches everything. It searches the comment, the memo, the crypto, the amount. So you can literally laser down to any transaction. You can also see all of your transactions at the same time, like 10,000. You can sort by 10,000. So it's really high powered software that I actually really, really liked. Okay, before we get to that, so you guys have asked a lot of questions about how to import your transactions. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to enter coins and the two areas you're gonna use the most is this API and this blockchain import. For any centralized ex exchanges, you're gonna use the API import. You're gonna select your exchange, let's just say Coinbase, and then it's going to give you instructions on how to log into your Coinbase account and get the API information. API is just like a little snippet of code that you will put into your crypto tax software right here, your API key and your secret key that Coinbase will give you. And now you might be kind of intimidated to put your personal information, your API key in here and your secret key. Make sure when you're setting this up in your Coinbase account or your Gate account or your KuCoin account that you select read only. See here where it says read permission? You wanna make sure it's read only. And that way the, the software will only be able to see your Coinbase account. You won't be able to execute any trades. I do not suggest the CSV import. It's very primitive, it's garbage. It doesn't automatically update. 
So you can see in the API import that you can select here that it will automatically update once a day. That is what you want to use. And as you can see in here under enter coins, uh, exchange import API, it has basically every exchange, crypto.com, Gemini, Hobie, Kraken, uh, there's gate.io in here somewhere, there's Celsius, and this will bring all of your transactions into uh, this, this place where I told you is going to be your home base, wherever it went, it's under uh, EnterCoin's overview and manual import this is going to be your home base so it basically brings all your transactions into the same place which is super nice okay so the second area where you're going to import your coins is this blockchain import and you're going to go to whichever blockchain you're using i love this software because it has all of them it has binance smart chain um it has ethereum of course avalanche so like these guys are really up to date let's just say i want to use binance smart chain you're going to go and you're going to put your public address in here. If you don't know how to find your public address, it's in your non-custodial wallet, like your MetaMask. It's also on the blockchain. You can very, you can feel very safe about putting your public address in right here because that's the address that you would give out anyway. It's totally public. If you wanted to receive a payment from somebody, some people publish their public address, you know, on their Instagram profile or whatever. So you're gonna put that in here and it's going to import your blockchain transactions. Again, everything is gonna show up in this overview and manual coin uh, home base that I told you guys about. Okay, when, you're, when you've done all that and you've checked everything, the next step is going to be to review it to make sure it looks right. Now, this is really important, guys. Listen carefully. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to reporting and then realized and unrealized gains and then you're going to want to filter and put in the year so this would be uh you're going to put in january 1st 2021 december third let me scroll down it might be covering it up there you're going to want to put in january 1st 2021 december 31st 2021 that's the last tax year that you're doing your taxes for and you're going to sort this by realized and unrealized gain and now you're going to make sure everything looks right again this is just a demo sample transactions in here this isn't my real transactions but you're gonna go oh wow it says i made eighteen hundred dollars on selling ethereum does that seem right this is just kind of a gut check like a brain check to make sure everything seems right the unrealized gain and loss these are cryptos that you currently hold like cardano like Chainlink, that you haven't sold yet that if you did sell them this would be the gain or the loss that you would incur but you're not paying taxes on that because it is unrealized what i did was i added all this up in my head my realized and i went yeah it looks right looks right looks right looks right looks right and then i looked at the bottom line down here and i said yeah that looks about right now if you want to drill down into any one of these in particular you can go to this realized gain or loss and go to show details and you can search for let's just put in here cardano and it'll show you where it got that transaction. It'll say, okay, the reason that you had a short term or a, a, a realized gain or loss, this one says zero. Let's actually go to the one that actually has one. It's um, it's Ethereum. So let's type in Ethereum in the search box, ETH. And these are the transactions. It's gonna say, okay, these are the times when you, when you got a capital gain on Ethereum. Here's one for $298. You can click the plus sign over here. There it is. It happened on January 6th. That's when you bought it, the cost basis. The trade was added on August 20th. Now this is European date format. So the month is right there, 820. It took me a little while to get used to that. So that's when the cost basis happened. That's when it traded and it was on gate.io. So it'll bring all of this stuff in. Now the exclamation point means there's something wrong. You, I got this error almost always when I didn't have a cost basis, which the first year you use the software, you're gonna run into that a lot because you're importing crypto from 10 years ago that your grandma gave you on Coinbase. I will try to make another video on how I solve that because this is gonna be the biggest problem you run into. Their customer support was also very helpful on that. So if you see these 
warning signs, that means probably there was no cost basis. But again, if you go to eyeball it, if you go look at the realized and unrealized gain or loss here and you eyeball it, you should be able to tell if it looks right. Now, I mentioned in a past video that I didn't really use a lot of their reporting, their trade statistics, their trade lists, their trade prices, all this other stuff. I kind of felt like there are better apps for that. I didn't really want to use that this for that. I only wanted to use this software for my taxes. That's all I wanted to use it for. Once you have agreed with yourself that this bottom line number here, this 1811 number is correct or correct enough for you, that's your realized gain. That's what you're going to pay taxes on, your realized gain or loss. Again, this is in the menu, reporting, realized and unrealized gain or loss. The next step is to create your tax report. You're going to go here, you're going to click on tax report, and you're going to generate your tax report. You're going to select your country. I just left this first in, first out thing on default. Um, calculate gain only. You don't want to calculate your tax, your CPA, or your government needs to do that. I guess you could try that. Uh, and then I, these settings were all pretty boilerplate. You're going to click on tax report. I don't think I can do it because I'm not logged in. See, I'm just in a demo, but it's a very good tax report. It populates everything into the official IRS form that you can just hand your CPA or you can file with the IRS. It puts it all in the form, so it's really great. If you had any crypto income, like somebody paid you in crypto for your business, it will not show up in the, in the capital gains, uh, realized capital gain and loss report, but it will show up in the tax report. You'll need to print two things for your taxes, your crypto income, which you'll see down here, and your, I think it's like form 8949 or something, you'll see it in here. So that's how you export this to your tax to give to your CPA or to give to the IRS. One final note here is that I would follow Coin Tracking, that's the name of the software, on Twitter. See, you can find them right here at coin underscore tracking because they give a lot of updates and tips and new features and just kind of like, see here they say um, about what do I do with airdrops? How do I, you know, put this in? So since you guys, we still have like two months left before our taxes are due, I would go on their Twitter now and start to really follow them and do some reading and really kind of get this going. You don't want to be doing this at the last minute, but I did follow their Twitter. It was very helpful. Uh, again, there is a 10% off coupon uh, down link in the description, but here are the plans you can choose from. I selected the Pro, I believe. No, actually, I think I had to go to the Expert because I had more than 3,500 transactions. So build yearly, it was like 200 bucks a year, which you guys, I am telling you now, it is worth it to pay for that because 200 bucks a year, you could spend $20,000 on a CPA and the CPA would still have to dig through every single last one of your transactions and call you and spend, charge you $200 an hour to say, hey, what's this, hey, what's that? So I, I found it to be really, really worth it. So that's the plan that I got. You can try it for free for up to 200 transactions. You guys see that? So if you guys are you know, just small traders, you can just start uploading your transactions and maybe not even have to pay for it. Again, um, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, Brian Ross Crypto, but go watch my other tax video here. It's called Crypto Taxes uh, in 10 Minutes. That video has been very popular, and a lot of you guys asked for some of these other details, so I hope this video has been helpful.